welcome to this uh, latest video on uh, where I'm trying to explain minute of angle, uh, also known for short as MOA. Um, there are different types of um, measurement for your scopes uh, in the shooting world, like mil dot, mil rad, and there's also a metric system, uh, which the other two are metric, but that's another version. Um, you can also do like quarter of an inch at 100 yards, but we're going to stick with MOA now. Um, nowadays, modern scopes for long range shooting have uh, turrets on top and on the side for windage which are dialable uh, what this means is using your drop chart you can uh, see at what range you're shooting say if you're shooting at 300 rounds that will tell you how many minutes of angle you need to dial in to allow for that bullet to be spot on and allow for drop and the turrets will allow you to actually put that uh, windage or elevation into your reticle so this is what MOA is used for what I'll try and do in the next few images uh, using a night force scope because that's easier with it and that's one I've got available um, I'll try and explain what MOA is and uh, how it, how we actually work with it um, as I say it's, it's quite a complicated to explain so you'll have to bear with me but once you actually get the general idea of it it's, uh, it's very easy to work with it's just the initial getting your head around it so anyway with these images I'll see what I can do and try and explain it as best I can Right, in this image we're looking at a night force scope. Um, we're using the night force because that clearly shows us on the turrets uh, what I want to explain to you. On this elevation turret we can see that it shows us um, if we were to move the turret in a clockwise direction, uh, for every one click we move it, the point of impact will be uh, will raise by 0.25 MOA or at 100 yards or a quarter of an inch. Firstly, if we were to do it anti-clockwise, the point of impact would go down by a quarter of an inch or a quarter of an MOA at 100 yards. Same with the windage. Um, if you were to turn it left or right by a, a click, it'll adjust at the point of impact by a quarter of an MOA uh, for every click you go in any direction. Um, the model we're looking at here is the NSX model, which will show four clicks to the one MOA so each click will be quarter MOA on a, on the bench rest version of the night force the NF you can get eight clicks to one MOA so one click would be one eighth MOA this c helps you refine um, your sighting in point so you don't get such a big jump so you're moving for every one click at 100 yards you're moving eighth of an inch right so we we'll are just clear up that point that we've got out to a hundred yards now so what happens if you want to go out and you want to shoot at 500 yards? How much MOA do you need to use? That's what I'll now try and explain to you. This is where it gets a little bit more complicated. Here you can see my uh, scoop turret set at zero. This is uh, my 100 yard zero. So um, the scoop is of zero to, for that. So uh, when I use my um, drop chart, which we're, I've shown you how to create in a previous film, I'll read off the distance I'm shooting at and then dial in what wind... Uh, elevation I need. Um, in the second picture here you can see I've added two and a half minutes of elevation. It just happened to be that my drop chart at 300 yards I needed two and a half minutes uh, to allow um, for bullet drop so that's what I've dialed in. On uh, the next picture here you can see I've added uh, 14 and a half minutes to my original zero point so I've gone round nearly one and a half times on the turret been 10 minutes of each rotation of the turret so that would take me out to roughly 675 meters and uh, that would, uh, I should be bang on with the uh, crosshairs then. Um, this is showing you how to add a certain amount of elevation to your turrets. Um, hopefully you're getting the idea that now that um, one minute of angle at 100 yards will be 2 inches at 200 yards, 3 inches at 300 yards, 10 inches at 1000. So if you've got a hundred, uh, sorry, if you've got a half inch minute of angle at 100 yards, being a half inch, at 750 yards, you go seven and a half times 0 0.5, and that should give you three point th or three and three quarter, three and three quarter minutes of angle. On this uh, diagram, you can see I've just a basic drawing. I'm not too good with that, so I just had to draw it. Um, I've drawn a green line and a blue line. The green line represents the angle that one minute of angle would, would create over a thousand yards. Uh, where the one minute 
where the green line goes over a thousand yards. Uh, in real life, the uh, distance between the, the one minute angle would create ten inches in height. Then there is a blue line above that, creating a two minute of angle arc. And at twenty at a uh, thousand yards, that would be twenty inches. So working back at seven hundred fifty yards, you can see the blue line would be fifteen inches, and the green line seven and a half. So working on from there, a quarter of a minute at a thousand yards would be two and a half inches. A half a minute um, would be five inches. A one and a half minutes at a thousand yards would be fifteen inches. So f at five and a five hundred yards, one and a half minutes would be seven and a half inches. <coughs> this leads us on to the fact that people say that they've got a quarter of a minute gun or a half a minute gun, meaning that they'll shoot a group, group size, at a hundred yards of a quarter of a minute or a quarter of an inch. In theory, if you had a perfect world, if you shot out to 500 yards, a quarter of an inch gun would create a one and a quarter inch group. It's, um, it's not as simple as that because there's other, other factors come into that. The further you go out, the more bigger these factors uh, um, play on the bullets and the groups and that. So that's basically what MOA is. It's not, as I say, it's a very complicated subject to try and explain. But um, hopefully you've just got your head round it with this little demonstration. If you've got any questions, come back to us, and I'll try and go into any you know other answers you want in a bit more depth. But as I say, with YouTube, I've only got ten minutes, and that is a bit of a struggle to uh, show you. Um, so we'll just go over the points again. J you know, just watch this video a couple of times, and that will become clear once you've got that general idea. As uh, ever, so easy to work with. Um, that's about it, really. Cheers.